adults are going to help us discuss it. So if there's any adults that feel like you want to sit with your kids, you're more than welcome to come on up. <laughs> Okay, before we start this Bible story, I want to tell you the Feast of Passover was the Jews' remembrance celebration that lasted seven days of the time when God released them from slavery in Egypt. <laughs> the city of Jerusalem would fill with people coming from all over the place, and they would celebrate for seven days. And along the roads coming into the city, people were walking. <laughs> the distance from Nazareth to Jerusalem is... Uh, about five mile uh, or five day trek walking. And so people would move along in groups, families and friends headed to Jerusalem and back. Another thing is when boys in Jewish culture were 12, that's when they started to become men. They started to be men. And so a 12 year old was a really important age. Also, It'll be time for questions, and I'll tell you when it's your turn to talk. So go sit down, and it's <laughs> your time when I ask you to talk. What else do we need to know? Maybe that's all. We can start by this job. Oh, yes, we need to know this before we start. Jesus was not like the rest of us. His mother was Mary, but his birth father was God. And when Jesus was born, and Mary's husband Joseph became his earthly father and raised him. So that's where our story begins. Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the festival of the Passover every year. And when Jesus was 12 years old, they went to Jerusalem just as usual, and enjoyed the Passover celebration. And when it was over, Jesus' parents left the city, but they didn't know that Jesus had stayed behind. And so they didn't think to look for him until the end of the day because they thought he was with family and friends traveling in these groups back home. Well, when they realized that he wasn't with them, they went around checking with their family and friends and realized he's not here. And so Mary and Joseph went back into the city. Three days later, they found Jesus sitting in the temple, listening to the teachers, and asking them questions. And they were amazed. And Mary said to Jesus, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking everywhere for you. And Jesus said, Why did you need to look for me? Didn't you know I would be in my father's house? And Mary and Joseph didn't understand what he meant. Well, Jesus, the people who heard Jesus discussing things in the temple were also astounded at his wisdom and the answers that he gave. Jesus went home to Nazareth with his parents and obeyed them. And Mary kept these things and thought about them in her heart. And Jesus grew bigger and wiser, and he grew in favor with God and the people. And that's the end of our story. So let's talk about it a little more. Does anybody think that they could retell the parts that they remember about this story? Oh, I try it, Bella. Come sit with me. All right. Start with, okay, we're going to start with Jesus' parents went to the Passover celebration. Jesus' parents went to the Passover celebration every year, and they celebrated it for the whole afternoon, and they went back in groups to go back home. So... They were traveling, and then they looked for Jesus because they thought that Jesus was in one, in one of the groups. But they looked for him, and he wasn't. So they went, Mary and Joseph went back to the city and looked for him, and it 
was three days before they found him. So they, they, Mary found him and said, Jesus, why are you in here? We have to go. And Jesus said, but why would you look for me? I'm in, I'm in my father's house. All right. Thanks, Bella. Good job, baby. I remembered so much of that story. Okay, let's talk about this story. So Mary and Joseph realized Jesus isn't where he, they thought he was, and they panic and go running back into the city with lots of worried. <laughs> what do you think that would feel like? Any ideas? You would be. You would like say like something. You would be so worried and maybe say, "Where's my son? What bad thing has happened to him?" And you may. Yeah, maybe they were asking people. See, Jane. You might have, they might have been feeling guilty, like maybe it was all their fault. They should have kept track of them, or they should have been careful. Any of the adults have some ideas of what it must have felt like? Oh, no, that's my kid. <laughs> Scary. Mm -hmm. All right, let's look at the first part of the story. Mary and Joseph always went to this festival and when Jesus was 12 the whole family went as usual and after it was over Mary and Joseph head out of the city and they didn't realize that Jesus had stayed in the city but they thought it was with friends and family so at the end of the day they start checking with their friends and family and he's not here so they went back into the city to search for him and they looked all over the place. Let's talk about what might have been going on. What, what does this kind of situation tell us about Mary and Joseph and their relationship with Jesus? Yeah. They were close and tight. What else could this tell us about Jesus' parents' relationship with him? Adults? Anybody? They loved him and they wanted to be careful with him. <laughs> so they had been given this this boy, and the angel had come and told them about it. And he's a king, and he's really important. <laughs> So their relationship with him was, they wanted to be really careful with him, is that, and they loved him so much. Let's talk about that. So Mary says, son, what are you, how, why have you done this to us? Your father and I are looking everywhere. Vicky's thinking that maybe they forgot that Jesus, who Jesus really was. And so what do you think they might have been thinking of instead if they weren't thinking about, oh yeah, this is God's boy. Where would we go? <laughs> He's lost. He's just a regular boy. The city is full of people. Right. This is a, a city occupied by Rome. They take boys and they do terrible things to them sometimes. 